So before I leave this to you to add a question, I want to show you some additional options that you have. And uh, I've got all the code here for what we've done so far if you want to take a look at that. But I also wanted to show you that if you wanted to use a drop down instead of a radio button, you can do that. You just have to decide which one makes the most sense for um, the people that are going to be using your quiz, that are going to be using your form. And if you recall, you can set up a drop down using the select and then the option. So in this case, I just have a paragraph up here with the question. I've changed the one about the if statement to a drop down. I've given it an ID of if state. And then each one has an option with a value that corresponds to the number that we said uh, would either be the correct answer or the incorrect answer. And then for the first one, I just have choose one. So there's, there's something there um, that shows the user that they need to select one. And if they don't select any, they get a zero on it as well. And so it's easy to set that up. Let's make sure we spell program right. Um, and so uh, we've got that uh, drop down working. It's actually much easier to use a drop down than it is to use a radio button because with the radio button we have to go through and determine which one is checked with this for loop. But with a drop down, we basically just capture the value of the drop down. So in this case, we're taking um, the element that's in if state. So that corresponds to the ID that we gave to it. And we can use IDs because we're only using it once. And we grab the value of it and put that in I score. And because we're going to be adding it, we need to parse it as an integer. And that's it. So if we come over here and we refresh this quiz, you'll see now that I have a drop down for this question. So I'll just randomly answer some of these and then I'll make sure I submit the proper answer for this. And it does calculate um, that I got a 25 on it and my answer, uh, uh, my evaluation for the quiz and the meme that I got for it. So you can decide which types of questions, which values you want to use and how you want to analyze the results of uh, what someone submits. Sometimes you want to make a quiz that doesn't necessarily have right or wrong answers, but you want to give points based on how they answered it so that it can add up to evaluate to something like when you have seen BuzzFeed quizzes that are fun or funny that, you know, say what kind of character you are on a TV show or give the user just something else to, uh, to do to explore um, interactivity on their site. So I encourage you to take your time with this code, play around with the code and um, try things out and then uh, do your own quiz. Be able to create your own interactive pages that will allow you to start adding interactivity on your websites.